It's about time we able to pre-order the new Demon Slayer game. We recently just got live gameplay of Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, the Hinokami Chronicles. So let's just go over to some of the things that we saw in the stream. Let's get it. Come on, baby, you know that I'm back and you I had to get a Louis on bag or two. First and foremost, the release date for the Japan version of the game is coming out October 14th. For the USA version of the game, is coming out October 15th. And for you guys that play the game on Steam, the game is coming out on the 16th. It will be available on sale. Fun fact, if you pre-ordered the deluxe edition of the game, you would get the game early before Japan and USA. You will receive the game on October 13th. For any of you guys that's thinking this game is going to be playable on Nintendo Switch, it will not. As of me recording this video, they basically broke down the solo mode, aka the story mode. As we all know, the story will extend up to the Mugen Train art. So that's definitely hype. I'm trying to see that Akaza versus Ren Goku. We did get a message from a developer saying that this would be a low entry level game. So if you've been wondering if you're going to be good or not at the game, it's gonna be very easy bro very easy to pick up so you ain't gotta worry about getting clout bruh i also did want to bring up how clean the versus screen look bruh i love how they took inspiration from the story series obviously cyber connect 2 is making the game but still i can't get over how sexy this game look it's gonna be in 60 fps give you the drip guy so basically what they explain in the live gameplay is when you switch out characters it will cost you some gauge to do so we did get a chance to look at Shinobu Poison. When she poisons you, you will take damage over time. So she's the first character to do so with this type of mechanic in the game. They also went over that you can activate a lot of these skills with just a single button. Another thing that did catch my attention is the substitution in this game. It seems like the opponent that's still attacking you when you do your substitution, they still gonna be stuck in the animation, bro. So like, I wonder if you can like predict that. Is it like one of them things that you gotta like hold? You just gotta hold it. Also also another thing I want to mention, I do really like the movement in this game. It looked like this game is going to be based around the movement because I mean, look, just look how fast Shinobu is, bro. If you want to pick two Tanjiro's or two Shinobu's on your team, you can do so because they did make that a confirmation in the game. Let's say I choose Giyu and then I choose the other Giyu from Kimetsu Academy. You can do that. They did let us see the extended version of Giyu and Shinobu's ultimates, so I'm going to just let that rock for a quick sec. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Eleven four. Dead calm. That's enough. Here's the incredible ending from Giyu's water breathing. Shinobu's ultimate gauge has filled up. Here comes the insect breathing. Enough. Well, that's a finish up. Can we talk about how drippy Giyu is, bro? Look at the way he say, "Dead calm." <laughs> yeah.